No movement since yesterday. No movement since yesterday. These days, we're all investors. Trying to be smart with our money despite our worst impulses. But in our shares, we believe that deep down inside of every investor is a better investor, one that's just waiting to be let out. Explore iShares ETFs and insights, and let your best investor out. Please adapt your stock company with respect to switching with investment objectives, risks, fees, expenses, and other information that you should read and take carefully before investing. Investing involves risk, including possible loss of principal. I apologize for that hideous noise. That was off the weather, weather nation. What are they called in England? I know the the men elk are called stags. The women elk, maybe ladies. I don't remember. I absolutely despise the American language use of um, cow elk. No, these are too majestic. Cow is for the bovine. These women elk, we're gonna call them ladies. Because I just don't remember what they're called in the UK. When I opened the curtains to this window, she was there and there's another one. You can't see her. I She was down here too, but then she moved up. I'm glad to see they're eating this stuff as well. Really nice for the wild animals. I, I do have birds that are here all winter. I don't know what they are, but you know, they live here. They don't migrate. Bless them. Oh, look at her kick. Look at her kick to, to get to grass. She might come down here. Let, we'll see if she does. I think it's a she. No, that's a boy. Has new antlers growing. That's a boy. Do you see him? I'm 9,000 feet up in the sky on top of the Sacramento Mountains outside of the village, tiny, tiny vacation village of Cloudcroft. That boy hears my voice. I'm going to be quiet. It's making him nervous. I backed my body out so that he can't see me. Last thing I need is those antlers ramming through this window. They're probably brother and sister. Now he's a stag, at least that's what they're called in the UK, if I remember right. At any rate, um, when you do defensible space, you get all this sunshine coming through and then all kinds of things just grow up naturally. Your lot becomes a meadow without you having to do a thing. Though I have thrown out grass seed. I used to, because of fire safety concerns, I used to... Uh, Make sure that I got got rid of all this stuff. Oh, did you see that? 
she's saying, she's beating up on her little brother. She's saying, you stay away from my grass. I found some good grass and you're not stealing it. Look, he's taking the mullen seeds off the mullen plants and those grow up naturally. I really don't want to get him feeling aggressive with me right next to the window. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this here where hopefully you can see. I need to clean the outside of the window. I need to, I've got to bring in wood and stuff. Of course, I'm, I'm glad they're out here eating where I have to bring in wood. I was going to bring in wood from the back. Obviously, I'm going to bring in wood from the um, front because I don't want them upset. After all, we we live in their forest. We share it with them and need to respect their space. I'm backing up. He saw me. He saw me and he did not like me cleaning the window. I'm hoping you can. the camera can hear me, hopefully. doesn't want to be watched. He's young and full of oats. Young and full of oats sometimes means aggressive. At any rate, I used to clean up all this stuff, vegetation, to have, a, to have it away from the cabin in winter, but then I read something about leave all that stuff out for all the animals, especially birds. So I did this year, and I have seen the birds eat it all. Now here come the elk. I'll clean it up though in spring because here's the deal. For a defensible space, you, you should have a five foot minimum, five foot area all around your cabin, clear of everything, anything that can burn. Enjoy the elk. I'll just walk around here and get dressed and stuff. Clean my glasses and stuff. Hello, Joanna. Do you, there's big old elk out there. Great big, huge elk. You can't see them from your location. Those great big things. Did you see one? Did you see one? Sitting on the stairs. Were you able to see it? When it got up close to the window? There are two big elk. Judging by their size, I'd say they're about a year old. Where's Julia? There you are, Julia. Julia, did you see? Julia says, I don't give a damn about elk. Let's see if they left. Did they leave? I don't want to keep this running. Well, yeah, they've gone out of sight now. Okay, they have gone out of sight. I don't see them either way. Bye-bye from outside of Cloudcroft, New Mexico, atop the Sacramento Mountains at 9,000 feet. Bye-bye.